Hey, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Welcome to Something Compared To channel. I'm your host, Alexander Blucher, and we're here talking about money, right? Continuing from my last video, we were discussing about the financial debt, and we went down on a whole list of things that need to be discussed as far as the rent, the electrical bill. I hope you took the time just to be able to fill out those things on your, on your own time. Okay, so um, what I want to be able to discuss is taking time to let days go by for your, for your paycheck and also to know I can trust the process, okay? What well, it means that we always have like unnecessary bills that come up out of nowhere, but the moment that you could be able to get down pack with your budget sheet because you took time to do it then you will know when the bills are coming out and when they're due so if you have like myself today being a little bit vulnerable i have zero dollars in my account right now zero dollars exactly um i know that in the next few days i don't need to put any money in there necessary until i need to pay something correct so last week i had to pay for a gym membership which i have like about several more months until that gym membership expires and that money frees up and i'll be looking forward to that but uh now because my i have minimized my 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 uh my bills now it's just a situation that what can i do to prepare for the next payment and future payments okay so you know me I could be able to yap away don't forget we have our index card composition book as far as the materials and just a, a blank white canvas sheet all right from the sketch so just to be able to write down we we're discussing the financial debt start this off pretty early going over a budget sheet okay budget sheet I want to leave you guys with uh, a great gem which is something called authorize user okay and I will disclose or mention a uh, a company I used last year called uh, Coastal Direct, if I'm not mistaken. I might have to double check that. Coastal Direct, and I'm gonna leave you with a book, um, which I will discuss, I mentioned that about the end of the video. All right, so with that being said, let's go into the budget sheet, okay? I like budget sheets because it lets me know how much money I have left over. All right, so first thing on the top of the list is, uh, I'm writing a new one, is the rent on the left side of the paper. Sorry, on the, on the top middle of the paper, you could put financial sheet, whatever type of term is easier for you to express. On the left side, we're going to put rent slash mortgage. Underneath that, HOA, if you do live in a, a, a townhouse or a gated community. We have car maintenance. Now, I'm a little bit old school. So I'm doing the whole pen and paper way. All the times you can look for a budget sheet online. They already have all the titles uh, listed there for you and you could just fill it in. I think for me, it's just more of uh, the memory or the thoughts that run through the mind go on the paper and it's like, it's like a relief at the, end, at the end of the day, you know? Next is the car fuel. 
student loans. And we have here the total amount. I put colon next to student loans. So student loans colon, total amount colon. And on the total amount, I put monthly payment. Okay. Underneath that we have car loans. Car insurance. Underneath car insurance we have cell phone. On each cell phone, we have electric, electric bill, monthly, uh, cable, and internet, monthly, the eating out, slash dining. Okay, I need that. We have separate. From e now and diadem underneath that we have groceries. Medical expense, if you have any. Gym. Uh, Self-care, getting your nails done, your hair done, your beauty supply stuff. Throw that, you might as well just put all that in there. If you want to separate, it's up to you, okay? Religious. Um, we have here Tithe and Charity. Okay, that's your donation. I'm not trying to promote any of the any of these companies, but it is a monthly bill if it's like an Amazon subscription uh, subscription. Hulu, hello, Hulu or Netflix. And what, since I'm running out of space here, on the bottom right hand side, I guess I'm gonna make like a, a, a box, whatever. I'm gonna put uh, the total expense here. Expense total. All right, give me some space to write down a number. And um, we're gonna put the income. All right. So let me pull up a calculator and I'm gonna do like a, a rough number on my end. Cause I, I really wanna be as vulnerable as possible on my end, but not too vulnerable in the sense that it's like Bro, you gave out a lot of information, which is okay. So let's do like like a fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars times like forty hours a week. Times uh, times two, because it's two. Two weeks is twelve hundred, and let's do times um eighteen percent which is uh, $216. That 18% is roughly uh, what comes out on taxes. Okay. Now, of course, there's other things that come out on most people's paychecks. So I'm going with a net of 
$984 as an example. So my income today potentially is $984. Just a little commercial break. I'll probably bring it up again. But in this envelope here is my check, a check that comes through the mail. And what I do is that I've noticed my spending habits in the past. Like I said, I'm in my early 30s, in my 20s. As soon as a check come in, the check is gone. And um, there is a saying out there that in uh, certain types of community, that the time they receive the money, it is gone. Like, like a, it was like a certain amount of speed. Like it doesn't sit as long in the community. That's a little bit off topic of what I'm trying to say, but it's like when I get paid, I spend like at least a good, it probably lasts for like a good six, a, a week. Remember I get paid every two weeks. So like a few days before I get paid again, like I'm like emptied out, zeroed out, or I'm waiting desperately for my next paycheck. I don't know if anybody else ever felt that. So what I do now, I'm mentally prepared <laughs> and I'm taking my time, is that I do a, like a direct deposit amount to be exact, $100, like $100 to a direct deposit to my account. So at least that could help me with some uh, fuel for the um, in the car or any quick access to uh, funds to spend. So what happens is that when my check comes in via mail, via mail um, days are going by. I'm not really like in need for the money, so I'm finding other day. I'm finding other ways to like come up with reading, exercising, something in the nature that doesn't make me focus on the money, you know. Uh, so then now when I do get my check, today's I had the date wrong on the last video. The last video was on the seventh. Uh, December seventh is when I first posted. Uh, something to compare to channel ever. So today is the 13th of December of 2021. And, you know, I haven't cashed the check as yet. So I'm going to go out tomorrow, if necessary, to go ahead and deposit. Um, depends what bank you have. You could cash it right away. Or you could just deposit. And then the rest of the funds will clear up a few days later. So if tomorrow is Tuesday, um, technically I won't get full access of the whole amount of the money until Thursday, no later than Friday, okay? And with that being said, with me delaying that, this week has gone by. So when I get, um, when I start paying down on some of my bills, sometimes I pay one or two bills of that day, I let some days go by and then I pay another one or two bills, it all depends. And um, when the next pay payroll comes around, next paycheck come around, I'm already in position with some, um, there's already funds in my account, okay? So that's a little discussion there. And uh, I, I will continue on this financial, <laughs> financial sheet. Uh, that's, that was like a little break of a enough topic there. So, let me fill in some numbers, which is exciting. And as uh, far as the rent, put the rent number there. Uh, for me, that is uh, an A, uh, car maintenance, ooh, an A, car fuel, um, I'm at one, I'm at one, 15, all right, every two weeks. Student loans, an A. Monthly, of course, an A. But put that in there if it applies to you. Car loans, um, I'm gonna put an A. I don't have any responsibility of that right now. And car insurance, an A. Uh, phone and a now 
electric. The way I have things set up, I am, I will be in position to take on the electric 2022. So as of now, I'm gonna put in a, uh, cable internet is 70. Does it come out this? Yep, it does. It should. Seventy dollars. Eating, dining out. Um, let's put forty bucks. Groceries and a medical expense and a gym. And a self care, twenty bucks. Gotta get a haircut. Um, the tide. I'm at roughly two hundred for right now. Amazon and a Hulu, Netflix and a. All right, so we add all this up. Uh, it's this channel is called something to compare to. So, if there's comparison of numbers of what I have and what you have, hey, feel free to uh, leave a comment. <laughs> all right, so let's do one fifteen, uh, seventy, forty. Um, 20 and out 200 okay oh, oh. all right so I have um, $445 as far as the expense. When the, when the expense takes place, I have $445. So I do the income, subtract expense. We have here is what? The $985 subtract, that's the net income, subtract four four. Five. All right, so I'm left with uh, $540, 540. Okay, I'm just double checking some numbers here. Okay, so if, what's the remainder of on your on your um on your income subtract the expenses the total amount was uh the remaining that is a potentially your it is your money and there is a high percentage that it may could potentially go towards savings okay so you just put that towards savings now that's one avenue the second avenue is going through um your credit card collections, things of that nature. So you could apply the snowball method, which I received that idea from Dave Ramsey, um, Financial Peace University, where you just apply the lowest amount uh, of funds or you know your, your debt, I should say. So if it's a 150, you apply, you just pay off that bill, okay? So those are the two recommended options that you have. And I just, a third one just came up, so I'm just gonna write it down right now. So we have uh, savings. Let's get some money in there. We have uh, collections. What is that collections amount? Uh, for me, it's zero. And savings, obviously, whatever is the remainder, I will be putting that towards savings. And uh, we have here the credit 
credit card which I do have I do have some uh some stuff there that I need to just pay down on okay so I'm gonna put it next to uh credit card snowball effect Okay. Um, now, if you have nothing in the collections, nothing in when it comes to credit cards, your next best bet is to um, apply for a secure card. Okay. Now, I'm assuming that by giving that advice that you don't have any credit cards or you are in the position of trying to build your credit a secure card is a matter of using minimum two hundred dollars most banks are different um minimum of two hundred dollars to put towards a secure card and then you do not want to go you use it like you use that money as like credit like it's a credit card and you don't want to go past thirty percent uh thirty percent of uh Two hundred dollars, I would say it's about sixty dollars. Let's just do, double check here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sixty dollars. All right, so try not to spend nothing. Sixty dollars. I recommend probably putting uh, one of your Netflix subscriptions on there, a Hulu subscription, uh, something that's really small. Okay. For me, I'm using on one of my credit cards. I'm using um, the internet bill, you know, and that that's helping me out. As soon as it shows up, I just pay it. Okay, it shows up on the statement. Okay, so let's go back to our discussion. So, okay, so authorized user. Now that one, I do like a little pre, make sure I know what I'm discussing here. Is that um. If you haven't heard the authorized user before, it states here when you Google it, it says uh, an authorized user is someone who is allowed to use someone else else's credit card. Um, and it just says here the person who owns a credit account is called the primary. Now, from my experience, I have not used a person's credit card. Uh, from my experience, it was just more that my uh, ex hey, man, I'll be able to be put on one of your um, credit histories um, or credit card that has a good history on it. And by uh, that person allowing me, so it has to be like a trusted friend or family, uh, allow me to be placed on there, you have a potential for your credit score to go up. And um, I was in the mid-500, about 550, and just by that decision, just call the credit card company and say, hey, I want to add this person. Uh, you verify that person and just give it about 7 to 14 days and then check your credit score and then you see it goes up. Okay, now, when you are, if you are going that route, you're going to have a lot of uh, credit card companies mailing you, you know, hey, apply for here. Just slow it down because it's very fresh for me it was very fresh i didn't want to apply for any credit cards right then and there um because i still wasn't able to understand the financial aspect of using a credit card and what percentage and all the other stuff so i was just trying to let that marinate that i'm a authorized user and given the advice i just gave you you probably get a, a secure card a secure card is also a good move to go with i think so okay so we covered that authorized user is legit there's no secret there's no hidden secret in that um i've done it before and then uh coastal direct let's see if that's called coastal direct i think it's called direct coastal uh,
All right, so it's called New Coast, Coast Direct, not Coastal, New Coast Direct. And this is another option if this is a fee and I'm not affiliated with this company, uh, but I have used this company before, is, let me bring it back up, is that if you're not able to get the authorized user by a family member, um, then you know this is another option which is new coast direct and when you apply here put in the correct information you know things like that and there is a fee i don't know if they raise a the fee uh as of now is it going to stay here okay well i don't know what's the fee i know it's not um, about a hundred dollars 99 dollars if i'm not mistaken okay so check out this. Once you apply for this, does something come in the mail? No, I did not receive anything in the mail. It's just I have more access to the account. But um, call the 1-800 number. I think they're out of Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 877 number. And they can answer your questions and things like that. Very legit. I even called to make sure it was legit, like nothing too sketchy on my end but um that was my experience a few years ago my credit score also went up okay um and i'm just sharing upon my experience on this company there might be other companies that uh, do similar um type of work but for my experience this is what i use all right i hope you guys enjoy your financial statement I hope you guys took note of the authorized user. Um, I hope you guys did not know about the new Coaster Direct. If you did, at least you, you know you are watching the video of somebody that used it before. And um, hopefully the information today was very helpful. I'm about to be cl um, closing out soon. The book of the, the day of the night. I'm um, gonna share this one is How Successful People Lead by John C. Maxwell. This right here, this book right here. I'm gonna do a study hall on this book um, as soon as possible. Look out for that post, I'm gonna get it done this week. It's just a matter of you just see me, just set up a good time of an hour underneath this lamp just reading. I'm not gonna read out loud, so, but it's a matter of if you wanna read with me, you buy this book and press play or if you is another book that you're doing any type of studying and you just need somebody to be accountable with uh, I'm right there with you all right I'm not looking at my phone I'm not looking on the computer it's just me and this book okay so look out for that video and I just want to say thank you uh, for anybody that's listening today this is Alexander Blucher your host on something to compare to thank you for listening take care